Hoppers. Today I'm going to talk about something that I never thought I would do a video about. I'm going to talk about how to find your seat on a plane. Those of us who fly a lot or have been flying all our lives sort of take it for granted that certain people really don't know how to find their seat. And today, uh, on a flight from Frankfurt Hahn to Santiago de Compostela, I couldn't believe it. I mean, there were several people who did not know how to find their seat and they were holding up the line. And I said, okay, I have to do a video on this. It's just incredible, really incredible. It's really not that difficult, but you know, sometimes, like I said, we do take it for granted. And based on like the views I have on some of my videos, I can tell that pe some people really want to know the basics about flying. So that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, let's go in the plane. We're entering the plane through the front door. And you'll notice that the rows are numbered and the numbers increase as you go towards the back six, seven, eight, but when you get to 12, you skip right over 13 and you go on to 14, 15, 16, and so on. Now each of these seats has a letter. Looking towards the front of the plane, the letters go from left to right, just like we read. Well, not every. So the first seat on the left, which is a window seat, will be A. The middle seat is B and the aisle seat is C. Okay, now let's look at the seats on the right side of the plane. Remember, you're looking forward towards the front of the plane. The letters continue on this side, D, E, F. D is the aisle, E is the middle, and F is the window seat. Now take a look at this plane. It has two seats on the left, A, B, three seats in the middle, C, D, E, and two seats on the right, F and G. So it doesn't matter what plane it is. The letters always start on the left and they go towards the right. On really big planes like this Airbus A380, which is the biggest passenger plane, they have to get 500 people on this plane, so there are different lines for different parts of the plane. One line is for business, another line can be for like rows 50 to 70, so you have to look for the line for your row. Okay, so let's say your seat is at uh, row 64. You have to go on the line like this one that says 60 to 94. And the lettering of the seats is going to be the same. Three seats on the left, A, B, C, four in the middle, D, E, F, G, and three on the right, H, I, J. Ta-da! Okay, Hoppers, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I hope it helped any of you guys who have never been on a plane before and are a little bit afraid of what to expect. They don't know what to expect. And also, for those of you who have been on a plane a million times and still haven't gotten it straight. So I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!